Hi guys, in this video, we will solve this inequalities question in GMAT time. Let's get started. So if x and y are non-negative integers, what do I know? Non-negative integers mean what? They are not negative. So they are either greater than 0 or they are equal to 0. We just said it's not negative. Now you see I can't write the usual greater than equal to but this one works well. Now also they are telling you x is greater than y. Now that's all that they've told us, right? And the fact that they are integers. Yes, so x and y are integers. Finally, let's look at the question. So the question wants us to find the maximum value of this thing. Now before just starting to write this fraction, which is not going to be that neat when you start typing, let's analyze it. So you want to subtract y upon x from 1 upon y plus 1. Subtracting something from something. When do you think the result is maximum? Well, when you subtract something very small from something very big. So you have a goal in mind now. You want to maximize this and you want to minimize this. Now, working on the first one first. How do I maximize 1 upon y plus 1? You see, the smaller the denominator, the bigger will be the entire fraction. Now, what's the smallest that the denominator can be? What do you know about y? Remember, they're non-negative integers. So y is either 0 or positive. So the minimum is what then? The minimum is 0. So if the minimum of y is 0, then this fraction 1 upon 0 plus 1 is just 1. I'll just keep it as 1. From that now, we're subtracting y upon x. Well, what's the y you just found out? 0, right? So 0 upon x will stay what? 0. And therefore, the difference here is 1. If you see the options, that's the biggest option anyway. You know you can't go bigger than that. But otherwise also, if you want to be sure of your answer, just see 1 divided by something which is 1 or more. Why? Because y is 0 or more. This part would itself at a maximum be 1. And you're subtracting something which is not negative. You're actually subtracting something from it. So the result has got to be smaller than 1, right? So 1, you can't go beyond that. And we proved how we can get 1. So let's just mark this and check our answer. Here we go. This is correct. Any doubts about this one? Feel free to comment below. Happy to help you. Happy learning.